As a photojournalist, I feel it's very important to not isolate people, but to create communication. When I photograph communities that may be controversial, keeping it as non-judgmental as possible is important for me. I'm interested in communities that are not well documented. The FLDS is a fundamentalist offshoot of the Mormon Church. They're a group of polygamists in Texas. They're following what they think is the rule of law in the Doctrine and Covenants and in the Book of Mormon, word for word. Part of their religion is to multiply by having many, many children through multiple marriages. But because polygamy is illegal, they have to do it in secret, and so getting access to them was very, very difficult. This is a community that is very wary of letting people see their practices up close. I really had to educate myself about the community before I even approached them. And then when I did approach them, I had to explain that I just wanted to be fair to them and present things in a straightforward way. After that, I was given permission by the highest leadership within the FLDS to photograph them. I spent about a year and a half documenting their lives. This photograph is of Joe Jessup and his five wives. This is about half of his children and grandchildren. I think it was the first time they had allowed a portrait like this to be taken by an outsider. Every little thing that I saw in some ways was a liability to them because there were dozens of trials going on. They've been accused of underage marriage and bigamy. The Texas authorities went in and raided the compound and took all of the children off the ranch and placed them into foster care for a few months. After the sensationalism of the raid calmed down, I basically moved there to photograph them. I'm really very interested in natural lighting and natural moments. In the late afternoon or in the early morning when you have longer shadows and you have more side lighting. It's definitely my favorite time to shoot. This is Leanne holding her daughter. She was still involved in one of the court cases. Earlier that day, members of the Texas Attorney General's office came over and took DNA samples of some of the kids from these young women. It was definitely a tense day. Everybody was very scared about being put in a vulnerable situation where they might have their kids taken away again. The community wanted to show polygamy in a religious context. And so I photographed the funeral of a woman named Fonita Jessup, who was the first and legal wife of the bishop in Texas. This group had never allowed anyone to take pictures inside their meeting house. You can see the way they're all looking at me. <laughs> it's pretty intense. They're all just kind of staring at me like, I can't believe she's in here. There are several cultural practices that they have that I still would have liked to have documented. And I'm sure that there'd be plenty of people who think that this is too kind of a portrait towards this community, but it's not an investigative report. It's more of a cultural documentation. I think it's important to not be judgmental in the way you photograph. If you put people on the defensive, you can't have a conversation with them. And to correct any problems that society as a whole may feel these communities have, you have to have dialogue. So I find myself being an advocate for breaking down barriers so we can have these conversations.